live three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Warning. Beehives, bay hives, Beyonce hives, please don't come for us. Because at the end of the day, this is my opinion, and I don't have nothing against Beyonce. She's a great performer. However, there were some things that I was disappointed about. If you go to the Beyonce concert, I'm gonna warn you right now, please do not call yourself getting there early. Cause it was people there saying that they got there at three o'clock. Three o'clock, y'all. It was people there that said they've been there since 5.30. Uh, and do you know 5.30 and not getting on to 9? Do you know how long you're sitting in the seats waiting for a concert? Then you have to stand, you have to sit an extra, well, not sit, but stand, an extra three hours for her performance. Not only that, it was people there wearing high heels and different uncomfortable shoes. Don't you go to Beyonce, um... A, a concert thinking you trying to look cute with some six inch heels stilettos okay or three inch or any shoes that un uncomfortable you need some comfortable shoes okay i'm just saying you need some comfortable shoes that's all i'm saying okay so I'll let you know be love warns you good morning y'all lavish music Me a banana pudding, banana pudding, okay. On deck, I got the red velvet, the chocolate red velvet cake that is, and we got the lemon on deck. I love icing, y'all, so I'm glad I got this lemon cake on deck. And what y'all know about that bagel? Bagel, bagel, bagel. Bagel. This is in the um blueberry. Raspberry blueberry, and then we got the pineapple watermelon on deck. Yeah, I'm finna eat it up. Your girl is about to grub. We done brought rib tip dinner. We brought a rib dinner. I bought some smoked tur a smoked turkey leg. We got um some links, barbecue links. We got some macaroni and cheese, some green beans, some cornbread, some um sweet potatoes, some 
what else we got? Green beans, some ca cabbage. We got the works, y'all. We finna tear it. Ooh. Okay. So y'all, I'm ready for the Beyonce concert. I just wore this outfit. It's going to rain today, so we got our rain coats and different things like that. Here's my hair. My hair is hairy <laughs> and everything, but yeah. So this is it, y'all. This is it, and I'm ready. It's gonna be uh, um, we in Kentucky, so yeah, like I said, y'all, it's raining on and off, on and off. So everybody got their ponchos and different things like that, just in case, cause we're outside, outdoors. So. I'll see y'all in the next clip. I'll put some Beyonce stuff in there for y'all. Lavish music. I love you. loving me. I want y'all to have such a good time tonight. We beat the storm. This next song is called Blouse and All. Y'all help me sing, okay? Everybody in front. What about over here? What about my people to the left, to the left? Are y'all ready to have a good time tonight? Y'all feeling good? Love y'all. Y'all 
Can I get a little closer? One of my favorite things is to see all of your beautiful, fabulous clothes. Y'all show out. Right, Brianna? I see Amir's in the house, Lily's in the house, Black's in the house, Bailey's in the house, Samira's in the house. Will y'all all help me sing this next song?
parents who I love, I love you, you sister. <laughs> that to y'all but we have left the beyonce concert y'all that concert was super duper super duper long and it started very 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 late so needless to say me and Nate, we left early super early before the crowd got in i think they just now let now but we already got our food so let me just show y'all what we got so i got me a salad this is oh it is salmon and got some bacon and onions. The bacon to add to it. Nate just got him mac and cheese, some broccoli, and he got a mistake. And I got me some fruit. Okay, y'all. So we're gonna tell y'all opinion about the Beyonce concert. Now, warning: beehives, bayhives, Beyonce hives. Please don't come for us. Because at the end of the day, this is my opinion, and I don't have nothing against Beyonce. She's a great performer. However, there were some things that I was disappointed about, and that's just it, okay? For me, being a probably, it's probably because of my age. I don't know. I'm just a little bit older, and I felt that the concert, it was, it, it was just, uh, it started too late, y'all. Too, too late. I understand. They said it was the weather thing and this and that, but there was other people complaining too as well from previous concerts that she started super de duper late. She was really, really late. I think we started at nine. It was supposed to start at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, y'all. And it was the longest concert ever because she's on there for three hours. And not only that, it's just, oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all know people gonna be standing. Even though we were on the floor, we were in the front. We still, it was still parts that we couldn't see. Was it parts you couldn't see? Oh yeah, it was a lot of parts you couldn't see. And we was in the front, y'all. We was in the front front. So, I don't know. I would just say this. Um, I didn't have my share of Beyonce concert. You know, I, I mean, like I said, she's a great performer love her music love, love of her vocals however for me i would not be doing that again um that's just not my type of thing because waiting that baby but did you get agitated and waiting that long i was everybody I agitated i would say though that um okay it's a lot for me all together you know so you just hold off on my opinion i'm gonna tell you my opinion in a second at any rate, uh, like I said, it was just the, the fact of the matter is that it it took too long. It took too long for me, and I know that they said that her prior concert, she started at 8.30. It was supposed to start at 7 o'clock, or she didn't get on until like 8.30ish or something like that. So, if you go to the Beyonce concert, I'm going to warn you right now, please do not call yourself getting there early. Because it was people there saying that they got there at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock y'all it was people there that said they've been there since 5 30 uh and do you know 5 30 and not getting on to 9 do you know how long you're sitting in the seats waiting for a concert then you have to stand you have to sit an extra well not sit but stand an extra three hours for her performance not only that it was people there wearing high heels and different uncomfortable shoes. Don't you go to Beyonce um a uh, uh, concert thinking you trying to look cute with some six inch heels, stilettos, okay? Or three inch or any shoes that are un uncomfortable. You need some comfortable shoes, okay? I'm just saying. You need some comfortable shoes. That's all I'm saying. Okay? So let you know, B-Love warns you. 
wear comfortable shoes put you some gym shoes in that bag and and listen don't care about the outfit if it, 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 it it's gonna listen and people was wearing whatever they wanted to wear i know some people was really really dressed up but some people was wearing whatever they want to wear so don't y'all go out there spending thousands and thousands of dollars on these outfits because you don't need to do that really when nobody looked at nobody's outfit like that people was really focusing on when beyonce coming out it was crazy y'all i promise you i was like this is ridiculous and you know what most of the time we sat down well i was standing up to get the thing but when i wasn't standing up i was sitting down nate stood stood, stood stand, was stand, um sitting down the whole thing and so sitting down That's not unusual we left me. we left super early y'all we left the hour before it was over probably about 40 minutes yeah we about, I said about an hour, because it was 11, 11 something, 1104, 11, 11, 10, I think. Well, I don't know. Okay. No. We, she's, she's general, and I'm always very specific, so it, it, it is, she, she's right. It was about an hour. It was about an hour, hour before we, yes. we left, and then, what else? What else? My take? Yes, please. So, um, I don't know. For, for starters, I'm an old soul, so I like mostly older music. Um, you know, like Motown type stuff like that. And obviously I like some 90s era music because that's when I, you know, was in high school and going to college and all that other stuff. So um, that being said, um, I, yeah, I was a fan of Beyonce when she was in Destiny's Child and, you know, everything was good. But I really haven't followed her since mm -hmm. then. You didn't uh, know her music. I don't know her music. And I, I assume that that all plays into the experience of it all. Like I was saying, oh, so liked her music when she was in Destiny's Child. Um, but you know, I haven't really followed her, so I don't know her music. So because I don't really know the music and all that stuff, I'm not singing along anyway. That's just not my thing anyway. So, you know, she loves Fantasia. I love Fantasia, but I'm not going to be you know, up there doing all that dance and all that stuff. I pretty much sit at the Fantasia concert too. So it's pretty much the same. But thing he enjoys me. Fantasia. I do enjoy Fantasia and that's not sad and enjoy some of the stuff that I saw last night, but it's for me, um, I get that a three hour show is giving uh, customers their money, money's worth, because essentially, you know, three hours, you would think that's a good idea. But, how, how, how but you... it wasn't three hours of like actual all performing because, you know, she, she got to change outfits and all that other stuff. So there was a lot of, you know, like animation in between um, that gave them time to do their um you know, clothes, wardrobe changes and all that other stuff. Whereas you, in, in the old school way, you would have other people on there while they wore wardrobe change and then somebody would be doing a solo on this or something, whatever, whatever. Anyway, bottom line for me is that's just not my cup of tea. I'm not, that's just not my thing. So being there, I sat for the majority of the concert. Oh, I okay. couldn't see half the time because people were all standing up. Um, fan wise, she even got if some they weren't standing supporters. up, even if they weren't standing up, you would really couldn't see a lot because she was all the way over on the other side. Yeah, don't pay for the like because of the way the stage is set up. The stage is really set up. You think when you're in the front row that you're gonna see a lot? Um, no, you need to be in that little pit circle. Because when she was coming around a little circle, that's how she was facing in. Yeah. So those people could see her and all that stuff, and the people on the outside couldn't really see. Um, thank you for saving my life because I was burning up. Uh, but anyway, so those people couldn't really see um, her as her and the dancers kind of walked around and everything. So, man, just kind of be in the stands, maybe on the sides close to the stage but not too close to where people you can't probably, see it well i don't you know, know people I mean? bought their tickets so, everybody yeah y'all probably already bought your tickets but you know i'm just saying that being up higher would have been better for us yeah but much better it been and much being better. in the front of the stage yeah no you know, i'm saying at this particular stadium no no no, no. sitting was, up higher in the stadium yes, would have been easier but to being see in everything. front of the stage you know right in the front where that they circle really is have that. yes they way did. in the back they did they had they had it baby yeah i know what i'm saying is that would have been a good area too because you you got you on the risers and you see them right in the front right but that's what i'm saying so the way to say stage is set up you got the stage and then you have like this um um like I, you know how it, it looks when you're like when you're doing a sign for male and female that little line with the circle on the top that's how the stage is set up so you have the main stage then you have a walkway like a catwalk to a circle that goes around 
and then it had some platforms on either side. So even if you were in the center at the back of the arena, where you could have seen the stage straight on, I must where be she saw most of it was else. way farther away oh, okay. than when she went around in the circle. You know what I'm saying? When she got around in the circle, it would have been close to you. Because remember, they were way back. Okay. But looking directly at the stage part where they spent most of their time, you would have been just basically looking at the screen like everybody else. Well, all in all, how did you feel about the wait time? No. <laughs> no what? No, there's no way. Listen, we were late, y'all. We, we were, we were, we were half, late. we were, we were 20 minutes we were late. About, we got there about 7 30 ish. And uh, doors, doors opened at 5 30, but because of the rain delay, they said it was gonna open at 6 30, but we didn't know that. So we assumed all this time we was late. So we get there at 7 30 thinking, man, we about to miss the show, da 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 da, because it said it started at 7. And it didn't start for another hour and a half, and we were sitting there. Uh, just sitting there, and they were waiting on the rain. I understand why they were waiting and all that stuff. They were waiting because Not like they said that. it was a rain delay, and they, you know, that's why they said it. I'm just saying that that's why they said it. they said that it was a rain. And delay. it didn't rain out an ounce. And not only that, but they didn't know my thing. Okay, it did not rain, y'all. And not only that, my thing is that if we would have got there on time, doors on open? time, because usually we do. My my, my husband thought it was it. he thought it was started at eight o'clock, which I'm glad he did think I'm a that for because being time. I would to have been so upset. Yeah. I was already feeling it like what is going on? Why people was complaining? They was yelling Beyonce, 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 all that, and, and I thought it was going to be a riot. Everything that happened. They've been there so long. Oh my goodness! Everything people it, it, like people would come out to move a, 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 a step. And they said, five feet away, start the whole crowd would go up. And ah. people start standing up like Beyonce is coming on the stage. And I'm like, okay, y'all, we've been point, waiting for hours. Then at one point when it got dark enough, the automatic lights came on for the stadium. They thought went that she was crazy. coming out. They went up. They went crazy. Then they saw little dancers walking in the back behind the curtain the, or behind they, the screen. They went crazy. They went crazy about so that. So basically, it was, like, basically, it was they had waited so, so long. Any movement meant Beyonce. Yeah, Any movement yeah. meant Beyonce. None of it did for hours. So, so y'all, that's our take on it. I'm sorry to be so long-winded, but that it is what it is. Don't come for me, but I can take it. Y'all know I can take it, okay? Yeah, I mean. And me, I still like Beyonce. She's a wonderful performer, great yeah. performer, very, very talented, but it's just not my vibe, okay? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe if she was Janet Jackson. Well, maybe. You know, back in the day, but we I loved think that, Janet Jackson. I think she that, is that. the new whatever, new hip-hop. Well, Janet Jackson, the new Michael Jackson. But I think that just goes female. to my first point, though, baby. Um, if you had, like, we know Janet Jackson songs. Yeah. So it would have made the experience much different. I think for people that are in the beehive that love... Because I, I saw them all around me. They knew all the songs. They were singing all the songs. They, they had a crazy. blast. They, they had, had a blast. blast. So that's the difference, I think. You would have a good time if you were like that. My yeah. feeling of how it was versus someone who's uh, who follows you. You know, when you rock with somebody and you know all their music, of course, you you in it. You singing. You do having a good time. Because let me say, we saw Janet Jackson last year. Oh, yeah. And we was front row. Yeah. Was, when I tell you that was an amazing show, was, my really husband enjoyed it. Everybody enjoyed it. But that's our age range. So, I right. mean, she did her thing, you know? She really did. Do her she thing. was moving and everything. So, like, the R&B festival, that's our type of vibe. Fantasia, that's our type. We like the oldies but goodies, okay? That's yeah. the, what type of vibe that we are. And that's probably why I was disappointed. But that lateness, oh, my goodness, y'all. Y'all see, y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see. But at anyway, uh, I'm gonna let y'all go on that note of this video. But I like, I, I appreciate you guys um, tuning in and seeing um, just my vlog of what I did um, in Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, Louisville, 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 Louisville. Oh, Louisville, Louisville. Kentucky. Anyways, I met so many of y'all out here. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to all y'all. I don't even know y'all name. Oh, shout out to Kim. I don't know none of all of y'all names that I've ever taken. Uh, y'all know who y'all are. A lot going on, but, but it was a lot. But anyways, I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace, Peace out. out. Peace, love, and hair grease. And for some crab legs, I want board eggs.
I want shrimp. I'm a bougie chick. A whole mukbang. Gotta have that lemon. Right